Chalk line works great on a flat surface like a floor, but when you get into these walls that are vertical, they'll droop in the center. I really wanted to do a great job at getting that perfect line, no matter where it sits, it shoots the same consistent line. And uh, so I dotted the entire line. It looks like the chalk line droops about 5 sixteenths inch at its lowest point. This is something every craftsman needs to see. I just took a laser level, sprayed a line across this wall, and drew in a line with a green permanent marker. Okay, I'm gonna pull it about as tight as I can without breaking the line. I'm gonna snap it. See here, the chalk line is a good 3 16 of an inch lower than the laser line. But when you get back up to the nail here, it's right on top of it. This is a 24 foot stretch of wall and it drooped about 3 16 inch at its lowest point. Keep in mind, I ran the chalk line on the top of the nail so that there's actually an extra 16th in there that, that probably wasn't counted. On the front wall of my house, I had 28 feet and that drooped 5 16 inch lower than the laser line. So I'm not sure I would ever trust a chalk line. How do you know that your chalk line is even level? You know, you, you can't take like a three foot level or similar and, and go up to it and, and, and measure it. You're gonna get um, inaccurate readings at different points. You know, if the chalk line is slightly drooping. The only thing that I found that really worked good was this uh, laser level. And this happens to be the Bosch GL L2-10 or whatever. Go all the way around the house and end up at the same place that I started. It's, it's just its absolute height that matters. The laser level just fits on any normal camera tripod. And the level sprays about 15 foot to the left, 15 foot to the right. It, they say that when you do a project like siding, to install it level and not parallel with the sloping house. So over the last 41 years, this house has sunk about one and a half inches in the far back left corner. It slopes by an inch and a half down at this far end here. With the laser level here, I drew in these lines. But what I did uh, was I took my circular saw and, and just drew a green line two inches below wherever the level line was and cut off the T111 so there's just always going to be two inches all the way to the end. You know, I trimmed off quite a bit using that circular saw. In a lot of places here, I don't know what I would do without this laser level. On this side of the patio door, the line is just above the nail fin right there. I put a little shade over it. I can see that it's right about here. I mean, it's like 5 16 inch lower over here than there is not bad at all. Where those dotted lines are, that that's where the nailing fin is, but this, that'll help me at least get an idea of where to line this up. 